Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to upload some data to a Google form or spreadsheet which is hosted on Google Docs or I think they call it Drive now. We're going to upload some data into that from an Android application. So the sample code that I'm going to be using here is hosted on GitHub. You can find it at github.com slash foamyguy slash Google form upload example and I'll post a link to this in the description of the video as well so you can link to that and click on it to get to this page. So what we're going to be doing here is uh, we want to upload some data from an Android application into Google Spreadsheet. So the first thing we need to do is create our form uh, and spreadsheet in order to do this. So uh, go ahead and get logged in to Google, come to Google Drive or Docs. Uh, that's what it used to be called as Docs, now they call it Drive. Go ahead and come to this page. What we want to do is create a form. So this is going to be basically what this uh, service allows you to do is create a form where you can pass out a URL to someone and they can go to your form and enter some data for you and then it puts it into a spreadsheet on your Google account. So we got to name it. So let's name this one uh, sample form and you can click themes if you want but this isn't going to matter for our particular project because we're not really going to be using the page we're just going to be uploading data directly but if you do want to pass out the page to somebody and you want it to look pretty you can uh, can pick from lots of different themes here I'm just going to go ahead and click OK so now we get to edit our form uh, title description and questions so for now what I'm going to do is just use text type for question type we want to use text which means that this question the answer type is going to be text instead of you know boolean or number or something like that so uh, you can change the name of your questions if you want like um, not very creative we'll just call this column one and click done I'll go ahead and add one more here for column two also set the type to text and then we'll click done and that's gonna be it for this one I'll just do two columns so once you get that you can what you want to do is click up here where it says responses zero and then we want to click um, choose response destination so go ahead and click on that and what we're going to choose is new spreadsheet and you can leave, you can change this name if you want or you're, I'm just going to leave it as the default but we do want to do a new spreadsheet or I guess if you have one set up you could you could uh, you could do it that way but for now we're just going to do a new one so go ahead hit create what that's going to do is if we come back here to our drive um, it should set up a another spreadsheet for us okay so here we got sample form and sample form responses so this top one sample form that's the form itself you can click this that's how you would edit if you want to add more questions or change the text or stuff like that and then the other one sample form responses is the spreadsheet where we're actually gonna get this data into so you can see it gave us three columns here timestamp column one column two and these titles uh, correspond to whatever titles you put in here so if you're collecting specific data you can name it whatever you want you know if it's like age and gender or whatever and if you put those names here they're gonna show up the same for these columns on this page and you can use as many columns as you want in this example I'm gonna stick to just two um, but you're not limited to that by any means so what we want to do now is uh, and just to show you kinda how this works I guess if we go to uh, back on our spreadsheet if we go to form and go to live form that's gonna show us this is the page so the way this service is meant to work you would actually you'd pass this page along to someone you give them the URL to this page and they when they got here they would fill in stuff for this so they would put you know like whatever their answer is so let's say you know balloons or something like that and clowns and then they would hit submit and what that's going to do it says okay thanks you know your record your response has been recorded what that does is it actually enters that data into your spreadsheet for you um, so that's this is the mechanism we're going to be taking advantage of here to get some data into the spreadsheet so that form you know this is how this service is meant to work so we're going to be doing something kind of like this but instead of using this page here to insert the data we're going to be we're going to figure out where to insert it uh, from inside of an Android application so just to let you know that's kinda this is the mechanism we're using is this form thing that Google provides for free so go ahead and uh, if you haven't already do click the form
go to live form because we are going to need some stuff from this page. So once you get to this live form, what you want to do, right click, choose view page source because uh, we need to get a couple of items out of the source code of this page. So first thing, once you're looking at the source, I like to do if you click uh, control F for find and then start to type an HTML tag of form that will once you find that that's going to show you where the first thing that we need to pull out is and that is this attribute here it says action this is the URL that we're going to have to post some data to in order to get it to show up in our spreadsheet so go ahead and uh, copy out this URL from right here for now let's uh, let's just put it into a blank text file here in our text editor but we just need to hold on to that for one second and then the next thing that we need are these two things here which are entry underscore and then some long number and since we have two columns that we're looking at there's gonna be two of these if you got more than two columns there's gonna be one of these for each column that you have so if you have three you're gonna find three of them so on and so forth um, so we want to copy those out as well entry underscore all of our numbers we'll go ahead and just uh, make some new lines here and paste these into the same file whoops and let's get the next one also there we go paste okay so that's what we need this is all the data we need from our source code of the form uh, so we can go ahead and close that let's pull up back the spreadsheet just for a minute here when we're ready so now that we have this data let's go ahead and dive into the code inside of Eclipse so this Google Form upload example this is the sample project that you can get from github there's uh, there's only two things inside here you got a main activity and an HTTP request object so first let's talk about this HTTP request object this is a, a class that you can uh, if you download the sample project it will come with this but if you're kinda working alongside me and you didn't download the sample you'll have to go out to um, Stack Overflow is actually where this came from to get this HTTP request class this is basically just a, a single file class that makes it easier it kinda wraps the native API's for making um, HTTP calls because the native API's there's kind of a lot of stuff that goes into it so this is like just a one you know one file class that makes it a little bit easier to do that stuff so uh, let me pull up the page over here where that came from that is on Stack Overflow the name of the question is secure HTTP post in Android and then uh, this code actually came out of the first answer to that question by Matt C he put this uh, this class up here as an answer for us to use so that's really cool him for for doing this so if you aren't if you didn't download the sample code you can come to this page here and uh, you want to copy all of this class file out of here and then uh, make yourself a class file make sure you call it the same thing so HTTP requests and then paste all of this stuff into it but I recommend um, just to download the code from github and then you won't have to worry about that stuff so um, that's where this thing came from we're gonna be using that to make our request and then uh, the only other thing we got inside here is main activity so the uh, the kind of most important part here is this post data function down here this is gonna be uh, you know this is just a method that's gonna do our work for us and uh, the reason we got this in a method down here is because since we're gonna be making a request to the internet we want to do that in a background thread instead of the main thread so that the um, well so that on the newer versions of Android it doesn't crash and even on the older versions of Android it's always good practice if you're gonna be doing stuff on the internet to do it in the background so inside our on create you can see we don't have very much set content view um, activity main and and we're not even actually gonna be using that in this sample but it, it got here from the project when I first created it Eclipse puts this in for you we got a log tag just to tell us that we're inside on create inside the log hat and then we got thread t equals new thread and inside of that we got a new runnable where we override public void run and the only thing we put inside there is the our post data method and then at the very end of all that we just got t.start which says you know hey run this runnable and do it on a background thread for us so basically this whole thing is just a wrapper that's uh, that's gonna call our post data method on a background thread for us you could make this into an async task if you wanted that's probably the way to go 
um, but just for, for sake of simplicity, I did it in just a plain thread here. So let's check out this post data function. So now, uh, this is going to be what's in the code when you get it if you download it from GitHub. Um, but if you, what, what you want to do, since this is set to my form instead of yours, you're going to want to replace this stuff with these pieces of data that we just pulled out of the form source code. So let's pull up this, uh, this text file we got here and let's copy that URL out and we can go ahead and paste over this one that was in the file when you downloaded it. So paste that in there. And then the other thing we need is entry, the first one. We'll copy that here. Uh, make sure there's an equal sign after it still. And then entry, the second one, copy. And we'll paste that in the second one here. Okay, so now once you do that, your uh, this should be linked up with your form instead of mine. So like if you don't do this, if you just run the code straight as is, you're going to be uploading a response into my form instead of yours. So you want to change these to the own form, to your own form that you just created. So uh, let's take a look at what we got here. Full URL, um, and again we just pulled that out of the source code on the live form and HTTP request mrec equals new HTTP request so that's again that's that single file class that we got from github or rather uh, stack overflow somebody posted it up there that's just kinda like a wrapper that makes it easier for us to make an HTTP request and send it off for our data we got string call one string call two and right now they're just set to hello world so if everything goes Correctly, we should see um, hello show up into column one and world show up into column two inside our spreadsheet when we run this. And an important thing to note, we got to use URL encoder and encode this value, call one and call two. We want to encode that just in case, like if there is a space here or any other characters that aren't allowed to be in a URL, then we have to encode that. Otherwise, the, uh, the docs server it's going to send back a uh, an error to us instead of putting our data in there like we want so got a url encode that we got a line through it here just because this generic encode method is um, is dec deprecated what you're supposed to do now is uh, there's like a second parameter i think you declare what type of format you want to encode it into but for now i'm just going to leave it with this one because that'll work for what we need so url encode your data and then uh, important to note also you got an ampersand after the the first piece of data so if you got more than two of these like let's say if you had three you'd have another line that looks just like these ones with you know entry blah 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 your your number there you put in some more data and you'd have an ampersand on that one as well so the important thing is you gotta have an ampersand in between each piece of data but not at the very end um, so we ha only have two pieces of data, so we got one ampersand in between the two of them. If we had three, we'd have two ampersands, you know, in between the first one and the second one, and in between the second one and the third one. So that's good. We got the ampersand, and right now we just got some sample data. The only other thing we're going to do here, string response equals mrec equal dot send post, and then uh, send post takes two parameters. The URL where you want to send it to, which is our full URL that we set up here, and then the data which is uh, the data that you want to post to that URL so that's our string that we just created right here so dot send post we give it full URL and data and then uh, we also got a logging method down here that will just spit out our response for us um, that'll be good if we got a troubleshoot in case anything went wrong so that's the only thing we need in here um, for this example so we should be able to go ahead and run this so let's do that now right click run as Android application um, and we'll pull up the emulator here it's kinda slow so it's probably gonna take it a second for that to launch um, and then once it launches hopefully it's gonna it's gonna run this stuff in the background for us it's gonna call our post data method and uh, hopefully it's gonna post this hello world into our spreadsheet so we ran here you can see we got you know hello world in the in the middle of the screen this is just a, the basic UI that the Eclipse project generator form gives you we didn't make any changes to that so that's why we got nothing fancy going on here obviously if if you're using this in a real project you're gonna you probably just wanna take out this post data method um, into and put it into your own project and then you know you'll have your own UI rather than 
this stock one here. So let's switch back to our spreadsheet here and see if we got our response. Okay, so there you can see we got it. We got, gives us a timestamp and then it, we got column one, hello, and column two, world. And again, those came from these strings right here. So whatever you change these strings to, that's gonna be the data that gets uploaded into uh, your spreadsheet. So, you know, you could, if you wanted to, you could pull these strings out of an edit text or, you know, from any other source, you, wherever you get these strings, it doesn't matter. Um, you just pull it from wherever you want and then you URL encode it and you post it to this URL that you found in the view source on the live form. And then uh, the only, the most important part here is the entry. You got to copy those entry values out of that live source as well. So once you do all of this stuff here, you'll, you'll be able to post some data up into your spreadsheet and, um, and that's kind of, that's how you get it all set up is, is I, I like using this HTTP request. Obviously you could do it without that class if you want to use the native APIs like HTTP client and all that stuff. But this is a really nice object that, uh, that somebody put up on Stack Overflow for us, makes it a whole lot easier to, to do this stuff. And, uh, makes it so that you don't have to troubleshoot a lot of the pains that come along with sending HTTP re requests and posts, stuff like that. So here's the sample code. Go ahead and, and get it from GitHub. Check it out. Figure out how it works. You know, fill in your own form and uh, get your data from a more interesting source probably than just a hard-coded string. And uh, that's that's how you do it. So I hope you guys found this video informative. And um, definitely, if you did, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. There'll be lots more videos getting posted up there soon, so check back. And uh, that's going to be it for this time. Thanks for watching.